Today we're having a senior field day for all of our seniors because we didn't have a lot of opportunities this year because of the pandemic to really celebrate them. I know that, you know, because of the pandemic, you know, and, and, and the way things were, we weren't able to have a prom this year for our seniors, you know, so we just thought maybe, you know, having finding an alternative way to honor them and give them an opportunity to kind of be around each other. At the beginning of our senior year, we were all virtual and then some people went their own way, graduated early, so it is nice to get them all back together again. I mean, all of us just being together is, is like once in a lifetime. In college, you know, we're all going to take our different path. It's nice to have one last get-together before we all leave for college, and it's just one last hurrah, and it's been a lot of fun so far. We were able to get cornhole tournaments, bike ball tournaments, a bunch of gift cards to give to the kids. We got lunches, we have volleyball, we have water balloon tosses, and we're going to have tug-of-war. Just a couple different games, but these are just something we do for the kids. They have put four hard years in and they've been instrumental in the school and we just want to bring back the spirit and get everything going and make them happy because they're great. We spent a lot of time on the weekend practicing, so. <laughs> yeah, we really prepared for this. We spent hours on end on every day, but the competition was tough. It was really yeah. tough. Joe, Big Joe, he's, yeah, yeah he was hard to beat, here, but yeah, we took him hard. down. I'm going to miss all my friends a lot and being here together and coming together for stuff like this. I would have to say the same thing. Stuff like this, athletics. kind of miss the family of it. I mean, we've all been together since like preschool. It's truly a family. Definitely 100% miss the teaching staff here at the high school. It was 100% nowhere else that you can get such a great education while still being in such a secluded area and still have such a high level of ed education. It got me into a great place academically in, in college. Just all of my friends here, I mean, I have some going to college with me to Clemson, but just I've grown up here. I was born and raised, so having all these kids for the past 18 years is just gonna be a change. It's been really nice just to have all these people as my friends. My advice to this class is, is that, you know, You've already overcome a lot, you know. This pandemic has thrown a lot of obstacles in your way and somehow you made it to graduation. So just using the lessons that you've learned as far as adapting, you know, overcoming your, these obstacles, using that in your real life too. Don't let any roadblocks get in your way. You know, continue to it and adapt and if you do these things, I think you'll be successful.